In this session, we will first look at the scoping option which is an advanced function of the Red Steer Optimizer, and then it will run the engine in Mode 3, the most comprehensive mode. Finally, we will go through the process of comparing the storage results with the results of session to executed by scope mode O. Storage plan of one port continuously affects the storage plan of the next ports on the vessel schedule. Therefore, when deciding slot position of the container, the shipment of the cargo at the next port of call should be considered. During optimization process, Redstow applies the shipping priority to the cargo of the target port and the next port. Target cargo and special cargo have a higher priority and general cargo of the next port is optimized by applying a lower priority. First, the engine calculates the general block pattern for the entire route, taking into account all the cargoes shipped to the target and the next port. Afterwards, based on the general block pattern, the target port bay plan is created. At this time, in consideration of the ease and practicality of the optimization calculation, the storage plan is created. By performing the actual slot allocation work for only the target port's cargo and the next port's special cargo, scoping option gives options to specify the scope of optimization for the next port shipments during the block pattern or slot allocation process. Scoping option O the default optimization option is a function that optimizes the basic cargo loading pattern. By focusing on securing ship condition of the target port and the final loading port on the route, so the system gives low importance for intermediate ports. Scoping option 1 is the same as the default option O. However, it is an option that optimizes the block in which the shipping operation of the target port occurs. When allocating slots, taking into account the shipment of the next port cargo, scoping option 2 is an option to calculate the cargo loading pattern at the intermediate port of call when calculating the block pattern in addition to the function of scoping option 1. Scoping option 3 is a function that optimizes the entire port of call by taking into account all shipments of the target port in the next ports in the process of optimizing the block pattern or slot allocation. Now let's apply scoping option 3 for vessel MB01 to see how the final storage plan of KO San, Shanghai, Nimbo, Hong Kong, and Port Klang differs from the storage plan results from the previous session.
Comparing the results of scoping mode 0 and 3. In the case of mode 0, there are 12 boxes of containers fail to allocate the slot locations and 4 boxes of containers need to ray handling operations. However, in the case of scoping mode 3, it was found that there was no container fail to find slot or need to ray handling operation. In terms of the import time, the results of mode 3 have been found to be generally excellent rather than the result of mode 0. Since the stevedore workload is well distributed among the guns at the most ports. In the case of the stability indicator, the two modes show similar results. In addition to these quantitative indicators, it is worth noting that the stowage plan of MOG-3 is a more convenient block pattern for cargo loading operations. At the ports of discharging, and the number of blocks with multiple PODs is less than the number of MOG-0. In other words, from the above results, it can be confirmed that using the full scoping mode needs longer calculation. Time by 20% but it can obtain better results. Thanks for watching.